Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Derek Ong with video number 22 uh, on the video series of using Smart PLS for um, analyzing your data uh, in um, structural equation modeling. So, uh, the preceding video before this was um, dealing with the how to use Smart PLS in uh, moderation with categorical variables, and this video will focus on using continuous moderators. So, uh, this is the model that we are using for the uh, continuous moderator. If you want to talk a little bit about what is a continuous moderator, what is a moderator, please see the video before this. And uh, this model has uh, already been. Uh, checked in terms of the uh, measurement model. As you can see, some of the indicator variables have been taken out. So all the uh, measurement model uh, uh, criteria has been met. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a um, moderation to see uh, whether uh, uh, the moderation of uh, image yeah, um, uh, moderates between, sorry, uh, whether image moderates between um, satisfaction and uh, loyalty. So what we want to do is we want to put image as a moderator between satisfaction and loyalty. So here's what we're going to do. Right click, add a moderating effect on the um, dependent variable. So the moderator effect here is image and the independent variable is satisfaction. We're going to change this to product indicator um, because uh, when we do our uh, continuous variable we need to do product indicator. So please change this to product indicator and we're going to mean center it. Now by mean centering means we're going to remove certain multicollinearity uh, and we're basically just taking the mean minus the uh, divide over standard deviation, uh, the difference over standard deviation. So we can mean center the uh, uh, values. Okay. So this is the moderating effect. Please rename it so that we understand what it is. Uh, so it is image time satisfaction. And notice one thing when you uh, unhide the indicator uh, variables, they actually take all the indicators here times all the indicators here. So that's why you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you will sorry one, two, three uh, times one, two, three, four. So you will have twelve indicators altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. So I'm going to just hide this. And as your like we did with your categorical moderator, okay. we're just going to run the bootstrap to see if the uh, moderation I'm just going to change this to I'm not going to wait until 5000 sorry let me just change this to uh, 500 use complete bootstrapping make sure that this is 0 0.1 and we're going to start the calculation so once we start the calculation we're just going to see if the moderation for uh, the inter uh, the uh, sorry <coughs> the t stats for this particular variable here ah here it is it is significant so therefore there is a moderating effect on the image on this particular um, relationship right so we are trying to see the effect the moderating effect of image on satisfaction to loyalty so using this we need to graph so where are we going to get the graph from um, if you look here we can get the graph on the unstandardized uh, graph uh, from 
again, jeremydawson.co.uk uh, slash slopes.htm, please use this. And if we use this one for the binary moderator, this time we're going to use this one, the two-way standardized XLS, yeah, uh, for the, uh, oh, sorry, don't use the standardized one, use the unstandardized one, yeah, my bad. Use the unstandardized because we're using the uh, un unstandardized uh, regression coefficient, yeah? So please use the unstandardized one. Okay, this one, unstandardized. Okay, so once we've got that, what we need to do is to, uh, I'll just use this one, copy and paste the results from the bootstrap, yeah, use the path coefficients, it is the total, this is the path coefficients, right, okay, so path coefficients, copy the Excel format, paste it here, be easier for us to see, just like as we did with your categorical uh, variable just now. Um, you might also want the confidence interval bias corrected. Paste here. You just need the interval, the 95% confidence interval, so you don't need all this. Just delete this. Uh, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and just copy the headings because they are all the same headings anyway. Up here, for the uh, unstandardized, here we go, paste, oops, I just made a mistake, yes I did, ah, here, paste, there you go. Uh, of course, uh, insert, this will be, actually this is more, this is the relationship, this is the hypothesis, yeah, this is the relationship, <coughs> this is the Ah, I know what, you don't need this, yes, this is the original, so this is the standardized beta, this is the relationship, this is the hypothesis that you need, yes, so that's correct, and this is H1, H2, and H3, of course the hypothesis we are most concerned about is the moderation is H2, in which it is significant, as you can see from the t-stats, it's higher than 1.96, uh, and because it's a negative relationship, which is quite uh, interesting. So let's just see how the graph pans out. So name of the independent variable is Satisfaction, of course. Name of the moderator is image. And the unstandardized regression for the independent variable is here, 0 0.481. For the moderator, image 0 0.207 and for the interaction is negative uh, negative 0 0.058 so we don't have to worry about this again all right so 
where's our moderation? Now, it may seem that uh, the moderation is not that strong, but still, you can know that uh, even for high image, um, the steep of those people for the low um, image of the company. Yeah, let's just look at the graph together. The image, the, the steepness for the low image of the company, people who have low image of the company have a steeper image, a steeper uh, satisfaction as compared to those with the high satisfaction, right? Uh, in terms of the uh, loyalty. So as long as those with low image, give them a little bit of satisfaction and then they'll be quite loyal. Uh, whereas for those already with high image, uh, it doesn't really matter uh, whether you need to push them a little bit because they already love the company. So there's not much of pushing. So the ones that you really need to push is the ones with the low image of the company. Okay. So that's, uh, as again, you need to copy the table and you need to copy the graph. So graphing is very important when it comes to moderation. So please uh, put both the table and the, the, the graph into the uh, Microsoft Word. So thank you so much for watching and uh, 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 do email me if you have any questions on uh, moderation, right? Whether it's moderating with uh, categorical or even continuous variables. Thank you.